<clears throat> What's going on everybody? It's your boy T Spill. Welcome to the channel Spill All the Tea. Got some reality for you guys. This is Shaz of Sunset, season four, episode fifteen, the reunion part one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sip my drink. I'm going to need a refill too, but I'm gonna sip this. I'm gonna hit the vape. We're gonna go right the fuck it. I'm gonna sip this, hit that, pop over another one. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. There we go. Mm. All right. So that was a lot that happened. A lot that I'm going to talk about. But what I'm going to do is what I find to more or less be insignificant. I'm either going to gloss over or I'm probably just not going to talk about it. Because there were a lot of talking in circles with certain things. And then there were certain things that got brought up. There was no fucking resolution. You know. <clears throat> so it starts with Andy taking everybody down memory lane with old photos. Moving on. <clears throat> then they bring up, you know, just the bachelor party from the aspect of uh, Asa and <clears throat> MJ. And of course, they talk in circles, and MJ gets defensive because, <clears throat> you know, Asa say, you know, she's two faced. Like, one moment she'll be cool with you, next thing she's driving a knife through my heart. <clears throat> um, Gigi is saying that she likes to be, you know, loved by people. That is her downfall. But she'll say one thing to Reza to make him feel good, but say something totally different to someone else that will contradict what she already said, but just to make that other person happy. <clears throat> like I said, I really don't fucks with MJ like that. So, mm, is what it is. <clears throat> they talk about Asa and her parents and, you know, renovation, helping them move in. That's about it. Because nothing really came of that. Um, then they talk about uh, Jess's conversion and the proposal, and it was nice for me to receive <clears throat> her going through the mikvah again. It made me think about when I went through the mikvah, huh, that was very, very interesting, a <laughs> very interesting day. But you know, and it, it, it made me just think about you know my conversion and how you know I you know made it through my journey, so <clears throat> it was nice to see. But, you know, Andy asked Gigi um, how she felt about it. And she says that in watching it, you know, tears, you know, formed up and everything. But she never, you know, not wanted them to, you know, get married or whatever. And if Mike ever need anything, you know, <clears throat> if she called, she if he called, she would be right there. And Mike is pretty much just like, you have a funny way of showing it. I'm like, ooh, catch that. Catch that. <sighs> So, <clears throat> now we have Asafa and MJ, and apparently, yeah, you know, it was di it was different with her being like the new person in the group because you know they brought up, you know, her talking about you know Mike's you know private part um, <clears throat> and all that, and her issue with uh, MJ, how MJ is phony talk shit, they call each other bitches and whatnot. Okay. So now we get to Adam and Reza. Now Adam is not here. <clears throat> He's not going to be a part of the reunion because he does not want to relive, you know, <clears throat> everything that happened with, you know, not getting married. And I think it's just a shame, but also just not reliving it. Because again, so much happened and I'm going to get to all of the shit that happened. Y'all know I am. Mm, but Red says they're in a good place and he admits that he admits to being a flawed person when it comes to relationships and which is good like once you start admitting shit like that I mean as long as you're open to it you can grow so <clears throat> but he did say that he was happy that he called off the wedding because for them it just wasn't the right time and of course Andy had to ask you know are, are they fucking <clears throat> and he says quite regularly for what it's worth so yeah then we get <clears throat> to the nitty gritty of Reza's bachelor party. <clears throat> and Andy asked if he ever told Adam. He was like, uh, yeah, I, I, I never said anything about it. But there was a promo. And uh, Adam saw the promo. And I said in the previous video, like, he's going to see this shit at some point. And when it happened, Reza said, you know, the only thing he told him is, I don't remember what happened. And Mike's whole thing is, how can that be a defense? 
you have to remember. And it was one of those where that is what Mike said about his situation. Yet Reza, and that's pretty much what Reza was saying to him. So Mike's whole thing is, is like, oh, so it works. So you can say it and no one's going to attack you for it. But I said you guys are jumping all the way down my fucking throat. So then we get talking about prenups. <clears throat> and Adam signed his before the uh, wedding was called off. Mike said he didn't he didn't have just signed one and Reza whole thing, you know, he's calling Mike fake and everything, pretty much saying it's like you ain't got shit for her to take, so why would she sign one? And he pretty much just starts to go in and I'm just trying to figure out just like where the fuck is all this coming from? <clears throat> Cause if this is all stemming from them not talking, I gotta but deal with the issue at hand. But you're going for, I don't know what the fuck he was going for, but I felt that was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Especially with them supposedly being boys. And you know, Mike calls Reza jealous. Now, and Reza said some other shit. Mike said, you know, he pretty much gonna beat his ass. And Reza apologized and said, you know, that he shouldn't have said what he said or did what he did. <clears throat> now, let me see. Here's what I'm going to talk about. <clears throat> do I feel that Rez is jealous of um, Mike? Yes, I do. Because here's the thing. Let's look at the dynamics. Go back to the season before. Season 3. <clears throat> Everybody gave Mike shit about the fact that he never proposed to Jeff, but Reza proposed first. Right? <clears throat> so now, given everything, Reza is still not married, yet Mike done proposed and has got married. So, <clears throat> is somebody mad? I think somebody is. I, I really do think Reza is in his fucking feelings. I don't know if, if Reza was at the wedding or not, but I would assume that he was not, you know? But again, that's one of those things where it's just like, <clears throat> hey, it is what the fuck it is. And I think he was trying to hurt and get married because I think he knew that Mike was getting married. I don't know, but yeah, the, the motherfucker jealous, okay? <clears throat> so now they bring up Pablo. The only thing that I want to talk about is MJ has a new dog. It's a female. She calls the dog uh, Toya. And she said, I named her Toya from Toya from Mary to Medicine. I did bow hollered. So, you know, and I probably should have went, to, went online to see if anything was trending on that. Because <clears throat> I, I know shots was fire. That shit was fucking hilarious. I was just like, she in for that. She in. I just had to mention that. <clears throat> so now they get to Turkey. And Andy had pretty much said, you know, the viewers, you know, don't want it, like, are kind of up and, you know, just, uh, about your timing. And why did you wait for over a year to bring it up and she mentions that a lot was going on and then all of a sudden says he was talking down to her being mean to her <clears throat> and her way of dealing with it initially was cropping him out of photos and you know not invite him to shit and Mike's kind of looking like okay and I'm I'm even looking the same as that way because this shit could have literally been brought up and it could have been brought up again off camera <clears throat> And Mike mentions, because Mike was asked why his uh, answer changed from he didn't do it to, you know, he doesn't remember. <clears throat> and I can understand what he said. Like, when the shit came out, the thought of him doing that was so absurd that the first thing to come to mind is, yeah, I didn't do it. Plus, at the same time, it, it blindsided him. And that's what came to mind. That's what he went with. You feel me? <clears throat> and I understand that. I do. You know, but he should have just said, I don't remember that night to begin with, you know, that could have just been it. And, you know, G and here's here's what's so funny. Everybody wants to continue to beat Mike down about him changing his fucking statement. <clears throat> but no one is bringing up the fact that Gigi's story is inconsistent as fuck. And her story has changed several fucking I'm being nice several fucking times from when she first said it to where the fuck we are right now so i don't like how is we're all going to attack mike but we're not gonna say nothing to her yeah they want to say mike is being the victim but is that not what the fuck Gigi is being 
<clears throat> I don't realize that. And I already said from Jump Street, I'm never really team anybody, but damn it, I'm team Mike. Okay. So Gigi is now saying that, you know, his wife has started the war, so she's going to finish it. Apparently, she went to TMZ talking shit about her. She's on social media and whatnot. And, you know, Gigi says she didn't. Oh, Gigi hit his ass with this whole, oh, didn't you fuck my sister, uh, you know, the day before your wedding or some shit like that? And, you know, we have the proof, but it was one of those ways you can kind of see, like, she's being very fucking vindictive. So my thing is, like, why are you attacking this man? Because at one moment you're crying, saying, you know, well, tearing up, <clears throat> like, I never not wanted to get married and all this other shit but now it's like you're trying to sit here and you're trying to destroy him and my question is is it because she's not married or is it because that she wanted to be with mike y'all fucking let me know how the fuck y'all feel about it because i don't fucking know and then it gets to a point where <clears throat> reza i forgot what the fuck reza was talking about i think it might have been accountability or some shit like that and then reza storms off the fucking stage that's it <clears throat> I mean, of course, there was other shit, my new shit, but damn it, I didn't fucking feel about talking about it. If I'd have missed something pertinent, we can talk about the shit down there. So, with all that being said, y'all, please rate, comment, and subscribe uh, if you have not. Um, you guys know that I spill the tea so you guys can catch it, so bring whatever you want to catch the tea in. If you would like to link up with me socially, my social media information is in the description box down below. And until the next video, I will see you guys later. Peace.